Hey guys, welcome back. Today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We are going to be doing a diagnosis of a computer. This computer here is my friend's PC. And recently says uh, he said it has stopped working. So we're going to open it up and try and see if we can quickly find out what the issue is. So, just undo the thumb screws real quick. So I built this system for him about four or five months ago. Um, so nothing should have broken. Only thing used was the graphics cards and the hard drive. But he said he heard a pop when it went off. So it leads me to suspect uh, that it's the power supply. But we'll have a look and see. So a good thing to do is to browse the motherboard and have a look for any blown caps. So it doesn't actually seem like there are any blown caps at all around the motherboard. What we'll do is we'll actually plug the graphics card and we will unscrew it so that we can get a better view of the computer. But yeah, as I said, the graphics card and the hard drives are the only thing new. Um, so, those two may, probably not so the hard drive, more so the graphics card. Uh, but those two things may be the culprits for something like this. There's a graphics card. It looks in pretty good physical condition. Don't see anything blown or anything. Um, looks so good. So I'll put that not on the carpet because that'll get static. On the desk, on on a bed or something. So we can have a better look now. And as before, there doesn't seem to be any blown caps or anything anywhere on the motherboard at all. Um, so yeah, so next culprit maybe would be the power supply. So, <clears throat> we got the power supply here, Cooler Master G750M. Um, so it's not actually a bad quality power supply, it's pretty decent quality. I've got one in my computer as well, and I haven't had any issues. Um, so the best thing to actually do with the power supply is this may sound weird is to give it a bit of a sniff because if something's popped or is burnt out you will definitely be able to smell it um, from the back of the computer so the power supply gave it a bit of a smell and I'm not too sure there's always that smell of computer stuff which is a little bit like burning smell so I'm not too sure see what else may well be the RAM well actually no not really the RAM because he was saying apparently it would start and then stop so that leads me to think it's the power supply so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause I'm going to plug in uh, the computer and then we'll see what happens okay so we've gone ahead and plugged in the computer and now we're going to have a look and see what happens when we turn this baby on. Okay. So let's see. Hmm. As you can see, everything turned on for about a second, not even, and then shut off again, which means that that is very likely the power supply. Um, so yeah, so at this stage, um, when that kind of thing happens, 99% of the time that's a power supply issue. Um, none of the cables seem to be loose or anything. Um, everything else seems to be in good shape. I know that if it's a RAM issue, um, the computer may constantly restart. Um, but it's not do that, it's not even powering on, 
CPU fan didn't even start spinning, it was just one of the LED fans um, that did. So the best thing to do in this situation um, would most likely be to get a spare power supply, plug it in and try it up and then also get uh, the power supply um, that's been accused of breaking, putting that in a different system and seeing um, if it yields the same results. So thanks for watching guys, hopefully you never have to face this kind of situation. I'm just showing you um, some of the different ways you can diagnose some problems, especially when it comes to power supply issues. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.